Simon Paris, thank you very much for joining us on Trade Finance Talks TV. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. So we're here at the World Trade Symposium. You're the CEO at Finastria and also the chairman of the World Trade Board. Why is Finastra, a technology company, involved with the World Trade Symposium? Yeah, so there's, there's two answers. One as a software company and the other is as a concerned individual. So as a software company, what we do is write software code to enable business processes and industry standards. What is lacking to some degree in the world of trade finance is there are too many standards and too many manual business processes. And we need these group of people, policymakers, corporates, financial services, and other technology firms to agree the standards that we can write software to. So that's kind of uh, one part of why I'm here. We're very large as Finastra in trade finance. We handle maybe six, 7% of global trade finance every day. The second reason is as a concerned individual, which is if you look at the last five years, uh, trade finance typically grows at two times the rate of GDP, but that has not been true. So one of the ironies or unintended consequences, consequences of globalization is less trade. Yeah. And one of that consequences is more and more people struggling to get out of poverty, when in fact trade is the fastest way to prosperity. I think most economics, most economists would agree with that. So what are the key challenges within global trade that we face right now uh, and what's been discussed in the last couple of days at the World Trade Symposium? Yeah, so I think there's been different levels of challenges depending on who's speaking. So right now there's a lot of concern about the role of bilateralism versus multilateralism versus plurilateralism and there's a lot of debate at that area. I think most people will agree that multilateralism, multilateralism is good and going to plural is even better. I think at the operating level, however, it's more around friction and transparency and how can we collectively reduce friction and increase transparency. And that's where technology standards, policy, best practices, etc., can really play their part. A lot's been discussed around open trade and I guess the idea of boosting growth and also innovation within trade and trade finance. What are the enablers to driving this change? Yeah, so I've actually heard like four or five words used. So open trade, sustainable trade, equal trade, reciprocal trade, free trade, right? And I think those five words kind of mean different things. So let's stay with your question, open trade. So open trade should mean the ability to have open standards and open processes and open data flows and open workflows. And the outcome of those things should be less friction and less cost and more transparency. You know, one of the speakers said today that the typical SME transaction is $25,000, but the average cost of a trade finance instrument is $4,000. So that doesn't work. That doesn't work if you want to address the, you know, the SME trade financing gap. How can technology help bridge this 1.5 trillion trade finance gap for SMEs and also within emerging markets? Yeah, so you can think about it in two different ways. One is the role of trade finance for the lowest providing component of the supply chain, and the other is accessing finance. So let's use a use case. If I'm a cashew nut farmer in Kenya, it would help me a great deal to know what the market prices of my cashew nuts were at market. How much I might be losing in transportation? Am I getting a fair price? Are people in open trade or fair trade or sustainable trade helping me with my crop cycle, with my pesticides, with my fertilizers? Am I getting the best value that I can in the spirit of fair trade? So that's one thing that technology can play the role in. Right? You can digitize those flows and bring that information to him or to her. In terms of trade finance, then the trade finance gaps is many of the institutions of the world can't reach those people. They can't finance a crop or they can't finance a merchandise or they can't finance the uh, fabric. So we can use technology to increase reach and to reduce the cost of reach. That's essentially the play. If you had one key takeaway you could take away from this conference, what would it be? So I'm going to re-quote uh, Roberto Ajevedo from what he said at the World Trade Symposium two years ago, or maybe three years ago. He said very simply in his closing remarks, he said, trade is good, more trade is better. Simon, thank you very much for joining us on Trade Finance. My pleasure, TV. thank you for having me.